great to see you. We're shooting a documentary about car culture in the UK and I need a second driver. You've made a name for yourself and it would be great to have you aboard. It's simple. You drive, I tell the story. Let's do it. From Aston Martin to McLaren and Bentley, Great Britain is home to over a century of automotive excellence. I'm Rebecca Dawson. Welcome to British Racing Green, a documentary celebrating that history. The Aston Martin DB5 Vantage was the quintessential grand tourer of the 1960s combining British engineering and Italian design. Vantage featured side draft carburettors and a refined camshaft profile, capable of a blistering top speed of 162 miles an hour in 1964. The clean lines of Superleggera's bodywork, reclining seats, and wool carpets created a car that was luxurious as well as fast. This car would form the basis for the DB range, with later cars improving on the design in many ways, but none would ever achieve the sheer iconic perfection of the Vantage. In 200 meters, turn left. Turn left. For all of its beauty and engineering perfection, only 65 of these beautiful machines would ever be built. If you own one, you own a piece of British history. In 200 meters, you will arrive at your destination. The silver DB5 would be immortalized in half a century of cinema. The classic Aston Martin. But in 2016, a new DB was unveiled, heralding the dawn of Aston Martin's second century. The DB11 is the first production turbocharged Aston Martin but is it a worthy successor to that legacy? The short answer is yes. It's bold, responsive and agile. It's perhaps the best GT chassis in the world. And listen to it. Able to hit 60 miles an hour in 3.5 seconds, the DB11's 5.2-litre twin-turbo V12 boasts a top speed of over 200 miles an hour. DB11 is not the fastest car in the world, but then it's not trying to be. It's sophisticated, effortless luxury. A 
it's an Aston Martin. DB11's front strakes channel air to create a virtual spoiler, providing downforce without compromising the car's clean lines. Brilliant. Most importantly, I think, the DB11 proves that Aston Martin is ready for another century of beautiful cars. And I can't wait. Beautiful as they are, Aston Martins are only one of many cars made in the United Kingdom. Let's see what else is out there.